in this video we will see what is an agent host and how it is related to azure pipelines again i will i have opened this pipelines page over here and i will create click on create pipeline and in this i will choose use the classic editor uh, you don't have to understand anything right now just follow what i am doing and where i am clicking so i will i click on continue and here i will click on empty job okay so we don't get any we don't get distracted over here you will see one thing called as agent job one okay agent job one last time when i said that uh, a pipeline is a sequence of steps that we can perform to achieve some kind of task right so when i say uh, a sequence of uh, steps it will it will be things like execute executing a command to build your project or executing a command to deploy your project on a server right so for executing all those tasks you need some place right where you can execute a task for example here i am searching for a command line uh, so i have selected this command line and in this uh, this is a command okay so this i have added one task which will print hello world you have to execute this code right where it where will it execute obviously it will run on some machine it that machine can either be your local system or it can be a virtual machine in the cloud or anything and that particular machine we will call it as an agent or agent host uh, here on this page on the when i click on this agent job one on the right hand side you will see this part okay this part over here in this agent pool you will see some list of uh, things okay my azure pipelines inherit form pool default my machine okay when you click on azure pipelines these are few of the machines that is given to you from azure so azure gives you a few virtual machines for free that you can use for your own purpose and use it as an agent so whatever task i select over here for example this command line script this will be executed on a virtual machine uh, that has mac os 10.15 or it will be executed on a virtual machine that this is called as an agent and if you want you can create your own agent for example suppose uh, there is some kind of task so you have created some kind of application or a task that needs a custom tool or a custom thing then that will not be present on a virtual machine created by uh, azure right so uh, in that case all these virtual machine will be of no use for you so what you can do in such a scenario you can create your own machine uh, for example i can create my own laptop as a virtual machine and i can use it as an agent so my machine can have all those dependency for example if i need java then I can install Java on my machine and all these tasks will execute on my own machine. Also, in some cases, when Azure restricts your account that no, you cannot execute your pipeline on Azure uh, on Azure virtual machines. In that case, you need to create your own agent host. So for that, what you will do, you will go on project settings. I'll just leave this uh, as it is. You will go on project settings you will come over here in agent pool and then uh, you will click on add pool uh, here i will just click on my machine ft okay i i had created this pool last time here i have click, click, clicked on new agent what i have to do now is download a download a zip that has necessary files that will make my machine as an as an agent for that i will click on download it will download a zip once it is downloaded i have to perform all these things okay so it is downloaded and i have copied it over here so what i have to do now first i have to extract this so i will extract it all and uh, wait for few minutes till all gets extracted so now the extraction is completed i have opened the folder so these are all the contents present in the folder and now we will uh, uh, do the next step uh, okay so next step it asks me to execute this command uh, i ignored this one because it is basically to extract your extract the zip file which i did manually 
uh, then I have to execute this command in a PowerShell. So first what I will do is I will open a PowerShell in this window. I have opened a PowerShell and then what I will do is I will execute config.cmd. Okay, it will ask me for server URL. So server URL is this till ft0048 is my server URL. I will paste it over here like this. Enter. Now it will ask for authentication type. I will let it be as PAT. PAT stands for personal access token. I will enter. And now it will ask for that actual token value. So where can you get this token? To get the token, you have to come here on the page of Azure DevOps. On the top right, you see this user settings. You have to click on that. Over here, you will see personal access token. Click on that. Then click on new token. Click on new token. Just give it any random name. I am uh, you can uh, do all this kind of things, but uh, for now, I will say 90 days. I will say full access now and I will create. So you see this token. Uh, this is the token that I will copy and and paste it over here. So yeah, I will. Uh, I will enter, I will enter, I will enter, I will, here it is asking me that do I want to uh, register this service like this entire thing as a service or not. For this video, I don't want to register it as a service, so I will just uh, click enter. So it will take no as a preference. Uh, I will enter, I will enter. So my agent is configured right now. And if I want to run my agent, then I just have to do run, run.cmd. You will see that it has started to connect to the server and now now it is listening for jobs. Okay. Now if I refresh my page over here in the project, in the project settings, agent pool in the my machine. Okay. So during the setup where it asked me to uh, give the name of pool, I, I forgot to give the name as my machine and instead it took it as default. As you can see here, uh, here, 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 where, yeah, here it took the agent pool as default. So this machine uh, will be now available in default pipeline over here. So when I click on agents, you see, uh, this is my, uh, the name of my laptop, which is a office laptop and you see it is online and it is idle. Okay. So uh, if I try to create any pipeline. Uh, create any pipeline now and execute the task then i can choose my own machine as a uh, host so i'll continue over here i will say empty job and if i click on this agent over here now from pool i can select default and when i say default it will execute from agents that are available in this in this pool okay so right now in my default pool there is only one agent which is my own laptop and if i stop this then it will it will uh, lose its connection to uh, to the server and then it will not show as online so now it will say it is offline so so in this video we saw what is an agent why do we need an agent and we also configured my own personal laptop here as a agent host i will end this video over here and in the next few videos we will be creating a pipeline we will be creating a release pipeline and we will also uh, see how to add steps and how to add 
steps which are not available in the uh, devops so see you guys in the next video